The GE9X is currently the most powerful and efficient engine in the global aviation industry. In this ultimate race of cutting-edge technology, China has also entered the arena, with the CJ3000 proudly positioning itself as a strong contender against its Western rivals. However, after all, Rolls-Royce is holding a secret weapon, one that could render all existing competitors, even the GE9X itself, instantly obsolete. So what is it? How can it beat all the rest engines? Let's find out. The process by which Rolls-Royce develops its jet engines is a story unlike any other in the aviation world, one shaped by an unwavering refusal to compromise and a relentless pursuit of solutions so complex they once seemed impossible. This philosophy not only kept the company competitive, but also propelled it to the forefront of global aerospace innovation. The journey began in the late 1960s when the global jet engine industry entered the era of large turbofans. Despite being at a clear resource disadvantage compared to the two American giants Pratt & Whitney and General Electric Rolls-Royce, refused to follow their compromise solution, the two-shaft design. Instead, the company made a bold gamble the three-shaft architecture. The core challenge was that the internal stages the compressors and turbines needed to operate at different speeds. The maker solved this by introducing a third independent shaft dedicated solely to driving the fan and low-pressure turbine. The technical complexity of nesting three concentric shafts required an extraordinarily sophisticated manufacturing process and multiple intermediate stages. Yet the payoff was tremendous exceptional efficiency and optimal fan speed control. For decades, this bold complexity became RR's engineering cornerstone and its secret weapon in leading the industry. However, entering the 21st century, this once revolutionary design began to show its age culminating in the Trent 1000's setbacks on the Boeing 787 program. Recognizing the need for a true revolution, the company launched the Advanced Development Program, a complete philosophical shift. Instead of mainly improving the cold section, engineers now focus on enlarging and strengthening the hot section while simplifying the cold part. In parallel, Rolls-Royce overhauled its entire production process through groundbreaking technologies. The company adopted large-scale 3D printing additive manufacturing to produce ultra-complex monolithic parts and pioneered the use of ceramic matrix composites CMC materials capable of withstanding extreme temperatures. Thanks to these innovations and an exceptionally tight quality control system, the advanced program achieved record-breaking figures such as a bypass ratio of 11.1 and a pressure ratio of 61, far surpassing any current Trent engines. More importantly, the Advanced 3 technology is being actively tested in preparation for integration into upgraded versions of the Trent 1000, Trent 7000, and Trent XWB, powering the Boeing 787, Airbus A330neo and A350, respectively demonstrating the program's real-world applicability. Finally, the pinnacle of this modern engineering journey came with the Ultrafan project. After decades of championing the three-shaft layout, this manufacturer made a shocking move combining all its best technologies by developing and integrating a massive power gearbox into its largest engine ever built. This was an unprecedented manufacturing challenge. The gearbox had to withstand tens of thousands of horsepower, yet it brought about a new engineering miracle. It performed the same function as the old third shaft, allowing Rolls-Royce to simplify the overall architecture and reduce the number of turbine stages from 10 to just 6. This advantage is monumental, as cutting down turbine stages the heaviest and most complex part of the engine significantly reduces total weight. From the dominance of the three-shaft era to creating the world's largest geared engine, the engine maker has proven one truth. Its technological supremacy comes from constantly rejecting the easy path and daring to tackle the most complex engineering challenges. In doing so, the company has built some of the most powerful and efficient engines on the planet, reaffirming its position as a leader in 21st century aviation. In fact, the debut of the Ultrafan could render every existing engine, even the mighty GE9X, obsolete for a number of compelling reasons. By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we know you're going to love what's coming next. Now let's admire the beauty of the Ultrafan. Ultrafan is not merely an engine. It is a masterpiece of engineering by Rolls-Royce, representing the pinnacle of technology designed to revolutionize the aviation industry. The name Ultrafan was chosen to honor its most outstanding feature, the ultra-large fan. Unlike older versions made entirely of titanium, the new fan blades are crafted from ultralight carbon fiber composite with titanium leading edges, reducing the weight of each engine by about 340 kilos compared to previous Trent models. The use of this advanced material combined with a power gearbox that reduces rotational speed and mechanical stress 
has allowed Rolls-Royce to enlarge the fan to an enormous diameter of 140 inches 6 inches larger than the current record holder GE9X, with 134 inches making even massive engines like the Trent XWB look relatively modest. Not only that, the Ultrafan's technical specifications are truly mind-blowing, surpassing every existing benchmark of fitting reflection of its name. It boasts a bypass ratio of 15-1 a figure that astonishes the entire aviation industry and far exceeds the 12.51 ratio of Pratt & Whitney's PW1000G, which itself was considered a remarkable breakthrough not long ago. Together with a total pressure ratio of about 71, far beyond the already excellent 61 Ultrafan delivers unmatched efficiency. In terms of thrust, this program is regarded as the true successor to the Trent family. Prototype testing has consistently shown impressive progress, initially reaching 31.3 tons of thrust, and later about 440-44 tons of thrust, surpassing even today's Trent XWB. The final production version is expected to achieve 85,000 pounds of thrust, with the potential to reach 110,000 pounds in flight. Thanks to these innovations, Rolls-Royce claims Ultrafan will offer up to 25% better fuel efficiency than the original Trent family, while the carbon composite fan alone contributes an additional 10% improvement over the Trent XWB. Notably, the program can operate entirely on sustainable aviation fuel SAF, a major step toward achieving net zero emissions by 2050 perfectly aligning with its green technology image. Even the fan's bluish-green hue not only makes this engine look more distinctive, but also is believed to be a deliberate visual effect reinforcing this green tech identity in its marketing campaign. The maker's bold technical vision is also reflected in a once-discussed concept suggesting that Ultrafan could potentially operate without a thrust reverser provided sufficient in-flight flexibility was achieved. Although engineers have prudently chosen not to pursue this risky idea for now, it remains a testament to their ambition to push the limits of engineering. But here's an interesting fact you might not know. The program was originally intended to be a direct competitor to Pratt & Whitney's turbofan engines and was planned by Boeing to power its NMA new midsize airplane project. Despite delays caused by Boeing's postponed NMA project, Ultrafan is still regarded as a symbol of 21st century aerospace technology, a culmination of decades of innovation, risk-taking, and engineering mastery. With all these revolutionary advancements, this engine not only sets a new benchmark that outclasses the GE9X, but also compels all other engine manufacturers from GE and CFM to China's AECC to rethink and reinvent themselves. After witnessing those extraordinary specifications that push the boundaries of modern aviation, one big question remains unanswered, and it's the one that has the entire aerospace industry and airlines alike deeply curious, which aircraft will actually be powered by this revolutionary engine. To answer that, we first need to take a step back and understand its true nature. The Ultrafan is not a single engine built for one specific airplane. Instead, it's a comprehensive technology program, a flexible modular platform designed to give birth to an entire family of next-generation engines for the future market. The Ultrafan prototype we see today with its gigantic 140-inch fan diameter is essentially a high-tech demonstrator created to showcase the maximum technical limits and potential of the program. Even now, multiple research centers are testing various configurations based on the same engine core, but with different performance parameters. So it's hard to see this exact version under the wing of a commercial jet anytime soon. However, the ambition behind this technological platform is enormous and strategically long-term. The manufacturer has stated that the Ultrafan concept will enable the creation of a family of engines ranging from 11 to 50 tons of thrust, a power span broad enough to cover almost the entire spectrum of today's commercial jet market. This ambition is made possible thanks to its modular core architecture, combining key technologies from the Advanced 3 program and a high-power geared transmission system that can scale efficiently. This carries profound implications for Rolls-Royce's position in the global market. Ultrafan is designed not only to replace the entire Trent family currently used on wide-body aircraft like the A350 and 787, and to compete directly with GE's GE9X in the ultra-high thrust category, but also to pave the way for Rolls-Royce's return to the narrow-body market. This is a high volume segment that this giant has long been absent from leaving dominance to CFM with Leap and Pratt and Whitney with gear turbofan. Leveraging ultrafan technology to introduce a smaller engine with a revolutionary bypass ratio, even if reduced from 15.1 into this market, could be a bold game-changing move. Naturally, specifications will vary depending on the intended aircraft application. It's hard to imagine Rolls-Royce fitting a 15.1 bypass ratio engine on something the size of an Airbus A320, as that would raise serious size and installation challenges. Still, 
Whatever the configuration, any member of the Ultrafan family will undoubtedly deliver exceptional fuel efficiency and performance. According to the engine maker's roadmap, a production-ready version may only appear by the late 2020s. This timeline sets up an intriguing scenario. Will this program arrive just in time for the next re-engineing cycle of the Airbus A320 family, the so-called A320 NEO re-engine program? Or could it end up powering Boeing's long-delayed NMA new midsize airplane, also known as the 797, the once highly ambitious project that has been repeatedly postponed, canceled, and revived over the years? Originally, the Ultrafan was envisioned as a direct competitor to Pratt & Whitney's turbofans and was intended by Boeing to power the NMA. Yet Rolls-Royce's development schedule was heavily disrupted by Boeing's constant delays. Who knows what surprises aviation will bring in the next decade? History in this industry has always been full of twists and turns and perhaps that tradition won't change. We'll find out what other secrets Rolls-Royce has up its sleeve in our upcoming videos. But for now, here's a question for you. Which aircraft do you think will be the first to carry this revolutionary engine? Could you share your thoughts with us? As always, wishing you smooth flights with Rolls-Royce power.